Bună seara! Bine ați venit la o lecție de limba engleză pentru clasa a cincea din acest manual. Cine are manualul este rugat să-l deschidă la paginile 60-61. Mai întâi vă rog însă să vă abonați. Pentru cei care nu au manualul, am să arăt aceste două pagini și am să vă rog să faceți captură de ecran ca să puteți lucra și voi exercițiile. Exercițiile, dragii mei, vă sunt foarte utile chiar dacă nu studiați la clasă din acest manual. Vă rog să le luați ca pe niște exerciții de consolidare, ca pe niște exerciții dintr-o culegere, pentru că nu fac altceva decât să vă ajute să vă îmbogățiți cunoștințele. V-ați abonat? Dacă da, haideți să începem. <coughs> Using spidergrams. Strategy. Spidergrams are very useful when you want to collect and remember words in a visual manner. When you start a new topic, Try to think about the words related to it that you already know. You can also use spidergrams to revise the already situated new words. House and furniture. Study the words on page 5051 in, and in the box below. Complete the spidergram. Sorry, I don't know what is happening with my phone. Okay, so, study the words on pages 50-51 and in the box below. Complete the spidergram with the names of the room and objects. Rug, sofa, lamp. Mirror, chest of drawers, dishwasher, cupboard, bed, cooker, fridge, bookcase, beside table, beside table, armchair, wardrobe, washing machine, curtains. Study. Desk, lamp. Cottons, kitchen, cooker, dishwasher, cupboard, cooker, fridge, washing machine, dining room, cottons, rug, chest of drawers, Beside table, bathroom, bath, lamp, mirror, washing machine, maybe. Uh, living room, rug, sofa, lamp. Bookcase, armchair, bedroom, rug, lamp, beside table, wardrobe, and curtains. Now make a spider gram with the names of the animals in Unit 3. Think of categories that can be remembered easily. Game, mirror drawings. Draw your furniture on map A without showing your drawing to the other players. This is a game that you can use it in class. Now let's go on. The next page. Evaluation test, units 3 and 4. Look at 
the pictures and write the names of the animals. The first letter of each word is given. Number one, mouse. Number two, parrot. <coughs> <coughs> Number three, bird. Number four, dog. Number five, hamster. Number six, fish. Number seven, cat. Number eight, rabbit. Number nine, guinea pig. Number ten, tortoise. Exercise two. Complete the sentences with has got or have got. Emma has got two cats. This was number one. Number two, my grandparents have got a dog. Number three, we have got a new games console. Number four, my friends have got roller blades. Number five, I have got a watch. Number six, you have got some goldfish. Number seven, my phone has got a camera. Number eight, my dad has got a blue car. Exercise number three. Rewrite the sentences in the negative form. Number one, I've got a brother. I haven't got a brother. Number two, she's got a dog. She hasn't got a dog. Number three, They've got bikes. They haven't got bikes. Number four. We've got a pet. We haven't got a pet. Number six. Uh, number five. My phone's got a camera. My phone hasn't got a camera. Number six. The children have got rollerblades. The children haven't got roller blades. Number seven, Tim has got a smartphone. Tim hasn't got a smartphone. Number eight, you've got your English book. You haven't got your English book. Exercise number four, write sentences in the interrogative using the prompts and the verb have got. Then give short answers. Has she got a bike? Yes, she has. Have I got a new tablet? No, you haven't. Have we got a horse? Yes, we have. Have they got a lot of homework? Yes, they have. Has Anya got a pet? Yes, she has. Or no, she hasn't. Have you got a mobile phone? No, I haven't. Exercise number five. Look at the pictures and write sentences with this, that, these, those, and the words cat, dog, cows, horses. <coughs> number one, this is a cat. Number two, these are horses. Number three, that is a dog. Number four, those are cows. Functions, exercise six. Complete the dialogue with the expressions below. This is green eyes, black hair, is that he isn't, has he got, quite short, is he? Amy, is that your dad? Tom, no it isn't. He isn't my dad. He's got green eyes and black hair. Amy, <clears throat> is he tall? Tom. No, he isn't. Uh, he 
is quite short. Emmy, what color eyes? Green eyes. Tom, he's got black hair. That was the lesson for today. Thank you for your participation. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next hour. Vă mulțumesc pentru participare. Nu uitați să vă abonați. Dacă v-a plăcut lecția, lăsați-mi un like. Și ne vedem la cursul următor. La revedere!